Hey guys, Nate here. Uh, I thought I would do a build of my new micro quad, so 130. Uh, and I'm really excited to check out how this frame is actually going to work, uh, how well it's going to be, and to check out all these new micro components. Uh, let's dive in and see how well it works. So, as you can see here, the frame I'm going to be running is the uh, Lantian LT130. I think it's very small. Uh, it has comes with a bag of components, standoffs, and whatnot. Uh, I've got a micro uh, PDB here. It's got a, uh, I believe it's a 5 volt out uh, regular built onto it. It's gonna be, we're going to be running the Afro Mini Amaze 32. We have, and look how tiny these things are. Oh my goodness, these things are tiny. The size of a thumbnail, basically. Sorry about that. Not the size of a thumbnail. Um, these are from Banggood. And these are the Iashin, uh 1104 4000 kV motors. And I'm really surprised how small these things are. Also going to be running DYS 10 amp BL Heli. These are actually from Ready to Fly Quads, but they are just a standard BL Heli uh, DYS motor. So let's get building and see how everything works. <laughs> all right, so hard to believe that all those parts and pieces fit on this little tiny, tiny frame. Uh, so what I decided to do is, I'm a fan of underslung batteries, so I put these mounts on here, and I quickly designed and 3D printed, uh, I have a 3D printer over there, um, little uh, standoffs, so that way what I can do, what I'm planning on doing is laying my Velcro strap right over the top of this, and then I have my standoffs that will go right here just like this and then my Naze uh, mini board and uh, receiver will be sandwiched right on top of this connecting to the the uh, to the actual frame via double side sticky tape right here and the same one uh, right here on the other side so essentially right my finger pretend that's the Naze 32 and uh, uh, receiver and then my camera will be up from the front and that way I'll be able to put my cage on top but I won't have anything on top I will just have uh, the battery will be actually on the bottom instead of the top uh, I hope you guys like it I hope to have a debut video here shortly okay so here's what it looks like all done uh, as you can see right in the middle here I did not do the uh, little standoffs that I was thinking I was going to do. I just basically double sides stick taped everything. So the bottommost plate, let's see if I can get a little bit better focus here. The bottommost plate is just the carb distribution board, followed by the receiver. That's a X4R SB. And I'm running serial bus to an Afro Mini Naze on top. Uh, hard to see, sorry about that, but the plate is on now. Uh, I did 3D print and design, uh, this is my own design a 15 degree mount for the camera and I put some electrical tape on top just to make sure that any of these exposed wires didn't touch any carbon and short anything out this little guy is my FTDI used for programming the board I'll just I just be I just basically tape it there uh, really like it 160 grams all up weight I'm not doing the strap like I thought I was going to just to save some weight instead I'm just basically going to be sticking that this is extremely strong Velcro from Hobby King. Really like it. Used it many times and it's more than strong enough to hold this battery on. It's just a little tiny uh, Zippy Compact 35C 850 milliamp here. So let's get to some flight footage. <laughs> 